So our last formula that we will look at um, is going to be the area for a sector. And a sector is kind of like a piece of pizza if you want. So the sector is this whole thing in here. It's the area of that piece, the little segment, the little section of the circle. And you can kind of think about it as a piece of pizza if you want, unless you get hungry. Um, and the next thing to notice here is that you'll see the little theta in there. So use radians. Don't forget that one for yourself because of the theta. And it's in bold red here as well, but use your radians. So this one again, the r is equal to the radius, which is just half the distance across the circle, and theta is the angle. And again, in radians. So if we take a look at an example, find the sector of an area for a radius of 12 meters and an angle of 1.6 radians. So if we think about a picture for ourselves, radius of 12 meters and an angle of 1.6, they want to know this area. So they want to know the area of all this stuff in here. So r is equal to 12 theta is equal to 1.6, and using the area formula, 1 half times 12 squared times 1.6. Again, I'm paying attention to the fact that that is in radians. This is going to be a theta, so I have to use radians. And here I'm going to get 115 meters squared. Now meters squared is the important thing to pay attention to here. This is an area, so your units should be squared. Don't forget that, i.e. centimeters squared. So looking at one more example, find the sector of an area for a radius of 30 centimeters and an angle of 75 degrees. Hmm. So again here, 75 degrees, I need to convert. So let's do that first. Convert to radians. So 75 times pi over 180 is equal to 1.3 radians. So this is my theta. Theta is equal to 1.3. I know that my radius is equal to 30. And I'm looking for my area. So my area is equal to 1 half times 30 squared times 1.3 is equal to 585 five centimeters squared, again using squared units. So it's a pretty straightforward formula. Um, I will show you a few other rearrangements just so you've got them if you need them for algebra. Area is equal to 1 half r squared theta. If you want to find theta, you would have theta is equal to 2 times the area divided by r squared. And if you want to find r, you're going to get 2 times the area divided by theta. And you have to take the square root of the whole thing. So you need brackets around all that. So those are formulas that you could memorize or potentially work on your algebra on how to rearrange them. But those are the three rearrangements that you would need from that formula to find, for instance, the, radio, the radius, the angle, or the area.